boost is precious for Aether. Eek, so, no. can he get high enough? No, doesn't get the double touch, but the rebound comes out. And guess who it is? It's Yukio reading that one in a hard hit top corner. The striker you love to see behind the ball if you're a fan of Aether in this squad. Oh, this is getting dangerous. A demo and a double commit. Itachi centers the to Zamwe. Zamwe with the fake. Trying to get it around oh, Yukio. He does flinch to the oh middle. My. Itachi's there. Zamwe, the dribble dismantling of Aether. And we have got to look on the field right now for the ankles that have been broken on Aether's side. And an easy follow up there for Itachi who ties it up. We might get overtime unless oh. Ikso has something to say. The fake! Oh. And it's oh. in! Yukio! Ikso does it right back! The dribble oh. drops it down and got that bouncer. Even Yukio slowing down that hit. They're taking a surprise in game one. Oh man, what an. So Yukio, he has had a career of ups and downs, but he no one's ever really questioned how good he is. And now oh, on the goal line, here we chance. Go, stake. And there it is, the low shot, Stake. Sneaking this under the defense. Itachi, his follow-up, throwing the defense off. And that was with the same pre-flip off the sidewall. To get However, and Tox breaking up the passing play. He's got the mid boost as well. See what he does. Rebound out to Yukio. Yukio up to Ikso on the backboard. On the back double board. commit. Wow. And it still goes in. Yukio chasing his own rebound. Tox looks like he might have gotten a small fender on it here. What? This shouldn't have worked. This should not <laughs> have worked. You've got two players double committing on this. Zamway going towards the sideline. And now it's a nice pass. Another oh giving go. Yukio again. He lives underneath the crossbar. He doesn't miss. And look at the passing opportunity that he gave to Tox. Tox could have been selfish as well and gone for the... Got to get this win. It has been some heartbreaking games for them so far. And there you have... Oh, I thought it oh, might have oh. kicked off the post oh. and out. Zamway cherry picking up field. That's what is, his what second is he doing? goal. What, Zamway's all the way on the other side. He just took the corner boost when the ball was stuck in his own half. The position... Trying to keep this alive. And that... Won't be enough. The Giants hold on. Ooh. Seen a bit more patience from them. I'm thinking back to the final few seconds in the previous game where Zamway was dribbling off the backboard. And now he comes forward for the shot on offense. The Giants, the response in the first minute of the game. Tox trying to get a challenge, ended up not getting the best touch. A kick. Taki booming it down, but this will give possession again. Tox. Aether. To Yukio. Over to Yukio. Oh my oh goodness! What? Yukio! Oh. Upper 90 buzzer beater! He's a machine! You see Tox with the pass into the midfield, and if Yukio is behind the ball, he will find a way to score credit yeah. with the plays he's been making. Well, and I love the fact that Aether, they're taking advantage of Yukio's striking ability. They know that he's gonna find the back net. They see the accuracy. But what does it matter when he touches on the other side to get a ground pinch into the back of the net? And not only that, he's hitting everything. Oh my Beating goodness. defenders with the wall bounce and off the wall bounce. The next, especially with how fast paced this is, you have to make split decisions in those moments with the challenges. And just like that, we're all tied up. Tox right in front of the defender puts this one home. And this, oh, Tox again, hesitating. Oh. And on the wall as well finally recover. Oh my goodness. Look at the mechanics though from stake off the ceiling. They're going from corner to corner, but Zamway doesn't take the corner boost. That could actually play into oh, effect. Huge if bump. The bump didn't come out. Oh my goodness. Was this Zamway in the corner who managed to snipe him out of the air? <laughs> Zamway takes Tox out. Oh, bumper to bumper bully. contact. Can Aether do it again? No, they cannot. The Giants, huge win. And that's how you, that's a textbook yeah. save there. And he taught you want to hug in that wall. He's a great player too to have on the defensive side, James, giving his teammates confidence to push forward, be aggressive. Whoa. And let Stake and Zamway lead the charge. Zamway staying behind it. And look at everyone in net through traffic. Stake still downfield. Geekso, low boost. Oh, Zamway. Wonderful time from Zamway. Zamway 
He's always up in the midfield for the Giants, and he's making plays. Look at the first touch oh. right around the defender. Keeps possession of the ball. It wasn't a Tuskio zero second goal. You thought it was over, but it was far from it. The Giants. Take. Booms it to the corner, Ixo. Oh, this is dangerous. Stink is there. Rebound out. Samway, the hero for the Giants. And they come back to win it in game seven. You can see he does not stop with the rotation. Gets the touch in the corner. And he continues to move it up. He's got both goalies facing the wrong direction. Do either of them figure it out? There's one sort of thing now. It's the second one beat. Open net. No extra. Rotated behind and gets the clear. Puts it on target as well. Mark Bahay closes on it. Follow-up's going to be good. BDS on the breakaway. Two goals now. The value here is, is marked by eight, pressuring Itachi. Itachi knows he needs to buy time because he's the last one back, but how quick Mark One out in front of the ball, which is a lot more situationally dependent. And the only way that you're going to have those demos on half, you're also opening up the room for your own uh, pass game and for your infield passes. So we'll see exactly. if, if, if Giants can, can, can string one of those things together. There's Monkey Moon through this oh, guy. Puts Monkey him into the box Moon. and he's not going to miss for goal number one. What is this touch from Monkey Moon? I mean, of course, initially he's thinking score it, but the adjustment, because he realizes he's going to be late to rotate the car backwards and kick it off. Each other, but Samway's touch is so soft, he won't be able to put it in. Stake now going to try and stance him up on the wall and gets the block. Now chasing it down himself to put it into the box. Here's a Tachi for the first goal. They're finally on the board. Got a very fortunate roll on this ball. Look at it come off of this challenge. Oh, Monkey yeah. Moon's thinking it's going to bounce or Stake is going to touch it, but it just, <laughs> it just caresses that lip right daylights out of him oh, now here's extra oh stake gets past him 2v1 stake goes and pounds out the goalie as Itachi's gonna try and put it on target they get the pump on monkey hey, Moon. and Itachi it. will do it well done they bring it within you, one you wanted the demos wave you got him stake was able to work himself out of basically the same situation when he was on defense able to worm through a couple of people and get that ball going back to be the shot of their lifetime and no extra extends it into the orange that'll barely giants will move it around the alternate corner, Marquez plays it back the other side. Past one up against Zamway. Extra and Monkey wow. Moon get it around him for goal number one. Extra. Watch his approach to this shot. You see Stake lose the challenge. Zamway thinks here comes the pop to the top left. Extra sees the early. Giants yet to lead at any point. Itachi versus Monkey Moon. He gets it out to Extra, but Itachi over the top of him. And now just one player left to the back. Can he win the 1v1 against Mark? Goes and puts the brakes on him and ties the game. <laughs> Atachi gives them a taste of their own medicine. This is basically the same thing that Extra just did. Gets it in the 1v1, Mark by it gets a little scared, has to respect that pop just in case Atachi goes and closer with every game. At halftime, we already see we had already seen three goals for BDS in game two. Extra demolished and the shot oh. behind and Atachi gets his mark over rotating and Giants have the lead. And again, it's all about placement here. Zamway just battling two people in the corner and the demo and all the way to the back post there. That's great. The side. Let's see what Monkey and Extra can do. Atachi, excellent. Oh, pass spot. Now Zamway putting another pressure on Mark by a big hit. The bump and the demo on him and Giants take a win. BDS took the big risk here. Extra was the only one that could have stopped that play in the midfield. So Atachi able to just beat that ball by him was so that one went off the bar thankfully oh double commit on defense Atachi's gonna try and close on this but doesn't have the speed to move at it Zamway with a bump though and it's good Zamway took the shot and then went for the goalie to pave the way for the second and marked by eight and extra neither of them even get a piece of that and Monkey Moon has to hit the brakes to dodge Zamway I think that yeah. might be the only reason holding down the backline defense Giving Giants a massive chance in this series. And if they win here, they're tying it up. Ooh. Extra now on the outside. Ooh. There it is, though. The infield pass going to tie the game. Extra coming at this one strong. I mean, he's not even sure if Monkey Moon's going to get that. But look at that touch. I mean, when your teammate puts it right there. Tying goal here. Two minutes left to go. Stake over one. He's got Monkey Moon to deal with. And Tachi's looking for the demolition. It's Monkey Moon going to just get up and pinch it off the crossbar. But the pressure is still on as Itachi sends Ooh. it up for 90. And look at this pressure from the Giants. This is the only place this can score. Monkey Moon, that's a great clear. But the Samway, again, he's the guy that's making the quick reads. And it's been on defense, on offense. He tried. And he'll move on this ball himself. 
Extra wins another one stake. Oh. Just cheese this awkward bounce. Mungy puts onto the backboard. Marked by eights up for it against both oh, goalies and drops no. the entire game. Oh, you could feel the Giants kind of pause right here as that one went straight off the ceiling and Stake yeah. was kind of looking at it like, I don't really have the boost and that's the situation where it's so scary. Then way off the wall here, Stake descended, Mark blocks it. Follow from Itachi nearly between the posts. BDS just having to play block game. They get a lot of them here and a bump as well, oh. but then the zone from Mark sends it out. Stake gonna try and pass across, but they might be long boost. There's a shot from Itachi, Monkey gets in the way. And now extra. Through one, stay trapped in the corner. Bumps on the Zamway as well. Pass across the box and oh, no! oh, I can't believe the uncle! <laughs> oh, talk about unlucky. Oh, it's just you're rotating oh. back in. And and that only happens because that touch. Like, it's not good. Again, there's no way I'm making a shot out of this. A bunch of good opportunities come and gone as we cross halftime. Still scoreless in game five. Stake and oh, it's gonna ah. connect. Wow. <laughs> well done on the infield pass. Quick work here. One touch and then two. Oh, the third yeah. one's the nail. And Itachi did so good. You can see in that replay. I, 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 I'm glad we both agree that this feels much slower than the previous overtimes already. Much safer play. Is oh, this one pinches? Mind. We're both wrong. All right, cool. A minute. <laughs> Look at that. Extra puts it through in BDS on match point going into game six. Well, that's what you said back early on in the series, right, Wave? Sometimes you just need the fluke. Uh, Sometimes how about a fluke, pinch yeah. challenge that just pings off the opposition, goes right into the net? You'll take that. Up. Stake out to Zamboy. Wow. Those are those awkward situations, right? You get that high bouncer and you're stuck on the backboard mm -hmm. there. And oh! Itachi actually makes the transition work. So that goes all the way back to that clear I was just talking about. I mean, Zamway yeah. is able to support Stake's awkward touch. He knows it's a bad situation. To look at that situation, be like, oh, okay, they had a clear. The goal, the goal is the touch that happened. But no, because of how straight oh. that clear was, you know, we can talk about it maybe on the desk. Mark by eight, going to score him, uh, score us inside the game. Uh, not a bad touch from Zamway, but it gets too far away from him. And it's that quick pinch out in the middle. I mean, you, you get tied up. It's past one defender. Mark on the wall gets red. Extra's got to get this one in net. The rest of the Giants have hung back. Ooh. But here's Mark and Extra to an open net. Ooh. They'll score and they'll go to another grand final. The same thing as game six. They think they're going to get the read and Itachi trusting his teammate to make the touch misses. Stake cannot win the fight.